park in the park. I'm gonna see if I could park here and then take my bike and go along this um, trail they have going along the water and see if I can find any cool spots to fish. Uh, let's see how much it is to park here first. I've never been here before, so we'll see. How you doing? Good. How much is it to park here? Uh, $1.50. Okay, is that just on the weekends? Yeah, weekends and holidays. And then weekdays are free? Yep. Oh, that's cool. So not bad at all. $1.50 for the entire day on the weekends and uh, weekdays it's free. So They have a shooting range here, dog park. There's camping here. That's the dog park here. I think that's kind of my plan too, is park here at the dog park and take this bike trail here. Uh, here we go. A Schwinn set up to be a fishing machine. Pulled some of my tackle, live bait. I don't have a GoPro mount, so I might try this hat. If I catch any fish, so I can record it for you guys. Let's try it out. I'm on a road and it should lead to a couple oh it goes along the whole canal canals right over there and then I think there's like a um what do you call it a spillway up here Let's see if we can find it okay I found the spillway it wasn't far up let's check it out oh it says no fishing let's check it out no fishing, I guess just from the signs. I'm sure you can fish on Let's check it out. Womp, womp. That's the only sign I saw. I didn't see it on this side. So, it's probably just. Oh, shoot. Mm, I had to toss a couple, but they look like they're bouncing back. Hopefully, they don't die. Also, didn't lose all my slushies, so. Not bad. Good signs. I see a bunch of baby peacocks along the edge here. I switched over to a popper. I saw a snakehead sailing. And it'll definitely hit something on top water like this. Also peacocks and bass. had some serious power I was just about to change spots too but whatever I just had on my uh, live shiner freaking took it must have been a giant snakehead so it was fighting down freaking felt like an alligator though I'm gonna spot another couple minutes let's put another shiner out well, really just want to explore though see what else is around here can take a look at Google Maps see if I find anything cool Wow. 
I didn't go too far. Just like went over the hill. It looks like it's just like a straight pass here where really there's nowhere to like come down and fish. Just tall grass. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit more exploring. And plus it's getting a little late. Park closes at 7.30, I think you said, 7, 7.30. So. Oh man, fuck, that was a snakehead for sure. <laughs> Whatever it is, wrapped around a log. Oh, it feels so big. Oh. What is that? And a turtle. <gasps> At least he's not badly hooked. I don't know if he bites. Uh, it's my last attempt before heading back. Huge. These are a lot heavier than I thought they were. Oh my god. He's come back around this way. What is that? A freaking bass? Look. No freaking way. Woo! This is challenging. <laughs> I got a huge snook on. It keeps bringing it right to the lily pads. There we go. Now I got them. Oh, those ball, ball, worn balls, whatever they are. This guy's huge. <sighs> Grab my phone real quick.
they were still alive. <laughs> oh my god, this guy's a monster. <gasps> Can you do me a huge favor? Sorry? Can you do me a huge favor? Take a picture of me. <laughs> Just leave the phone right there, bro. Really appreciate that. Woo! Hey, he's still lively. Oh my god. Of course, I don't want my pliers. Okay. There you go. Woo! That was cool. Yeah. You didn't, I hope you didn't hug yourself. No, no. I forgot my pliers. Those are called snook and. They're, they're, um, whew. yeah, that's cool. What, what kind of fish are they? It's called snook. Snook? You can only take them out of the water for so long, otherwise they die, so right. you gotta revive them really fast. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad you put them back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah that's cool. Thank you, guys. Whoo! Oh, no way. Somehow my line broke off. I don't know if that was me when I stepped on the pole. <laughs> or if it just somehow came off. Oh, man. That was intense. Go figure, I didn't have the GoPro recording. Man, go figure. The minute I took my heart hat off, because I, I was about to leave. I was switching out um, my lure for the ride home. And I switched it to this, and I said, screw it, let me take one cast, one cast along the wall here. He came up, slurped it up. That was a freaking monster snook. I would say 38, 37, 38 inches. He was fat though, healthy. He um, revived no problem. Um, yeah, that was cool, man. I didn't have my pliers, so luckily I was able to get the hooks out. It was, it was tough. I had all three hooks on them, in them at once. The middle one was in his eyeball. But I was able to get him out. He didn't, he didn't seem bothered by it and revived him as fast as I can with a picture. And this is why I can't have nice shoes. I don't even know if you can see them. These were my good shoes. Anyway, I caught that snook on a pen Pursuit 4000, 12 pound test. I got lucky to fray the line since I hooked them on the side. That was cool. Thanks for watching.